Authorities in Virginia have charged seven deputies with second-degree murder of a man who was being admitted to hospital. According to prosecutors, that man, 28-year-old Ivo Otinino, was allegedly smothered while in the care of those officers as they tried to restrain him during a hospital transport 10 days ago. Otinino allegedly in custody after police say he became combative and assaulted three officers following a possible burglary call. NBC News correspondent Marissa Parra joins us now with more. Marissa, what else do we know about this case and the people involved? Hey, Ellison, just to kind of set the timeline here, police say he was in custody after a call to police on March 3rd about a possible burglary. They allege that he had assaulted Henrico police officers at a different hospital. And then, as we know, uh, days later on March 6th, ended up dead at Central State Hospital. Now, each of those seven deputies has been charged with one felony count of second degree murder. Take a listen to words from the Dinwiddie County Commonwealth attorney herself in court yesterday. We died of asphyxia due to being smothered to death thanks to having at least seven people, including the defendant, on top of him and holding him down. I want to read words from the family attorney uh, saying, quote, the family is truly grief stricken after learning of the brutal nature of his death and his inhumane treatment in the hours preceding his death. The public and experienced mental health professionals alike will be appalled when the facts of this case are fully made known. And then we also heard a statement from the local police union saying in part, quote, that the death was tragic. They expressed their condolences to his family, but also saying they stand behind the seven accused deputies saying, quote, with these things in mind and cognizant of every accused presumption of innocence. We support our brothers and sisters. Ellison. Marissa, listening to the family say they believe more people will be appalled once the facts of this case are fully made known. What information does the public not have so far? Has every bit of video related to this incident been released to the family and the public? Yeah, so that video that you just mentioned is a huge part of this. The Commonwealth's attorney spent a lot of time describing the video, which we have not ourselves seen. We have made efforts to do so. I know our affiliate on the ground has also done so. But the Commonwealth's attorney described the video saying it shows Otienvo face down, handcuffed on the ground with a knee from one of the deputies on his body, saying they smothered him for 12 minutes causing him to suffocate to death. She called the video both clear and alarming, Ellison. What is next in terms of legal proceedings related to this case? There are two deputies in custody, I believe, but we heard uh, yes. the one of the lawyers there describing seven people involved. What happens next? Correct. Well, one of the things that happens next is actually in a few hours, Ellison, we know at one o'clock today, there will be a press conference held by Otienvo's family. And we understand Ben Crump's legal team will also be present. Ellison. All right, Marissa Parra, thank you so much for that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.